Hello everyone, my name is Minister Archange Antoine and I am excited to be here today. Can you join me in prayer? God, we thank you for your people. We thank you for all of the families who are hearing this message today. May you meet them where they're at. May you encourage them, give them the strength that they need to make it through these difficult times. Lord God, let us stay as a family. Let us stay connected in one spirit, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Today's reading will be coming from James chapter 1, and I'll be reading from 1 through chapter uh, verse 6. And it reads, James, a servant of God, of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into divers temptation. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God that giveth to all men liberally and abrading not, and it shall be given unto him. Six in the last verse. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavering is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and toss. May the Lord continue to bless his word. Today, our subject is be an example to the world. The world has an unfair expectation for those of us who are Christians to be perfect. That means never saying anything wrong, never doing anything wrong, dotting all of our I's, crossing all of our T's, and basically being faultless human beings like our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is not practical, and it is also unfair. But there is an expectation that God places on each of us to be the light and the salt of the earth. Being the examples of the Holy Spirit living through our lives. That means we will never be immune from trials and tribulations of life. But we must learn to find joy and gladness when the trials and tribulations come our way. Because they will come our way. And for many of us, they are already here. We must learn how to find joy in the midst of trials and tribulation. How do we find joy in the midst of trials and tribulation? By embracing the journey for when our faith is tested. Do you know that your faith must be tested? Because it helps strengthen our faith. Again, our faith must be tested because it strengthens our faith. And more importantly, it helps produce perseverance that is essential for life. The perseverance that we speak about today is the ability to stay steadfast. This is what James was talking about. It's about remaining consistent and unwavering from our purpose even at the highest peak of suffering. As COVID-19 runs through our communities, as racism continues to plague this nation from its beginnings, as our savings continue to deplete because people are trying their hardest to survive these different economic times, and as our future seems grim, remember, these are all parts of our trials and tribulations that come with life. They are building our faith. And I pray that our faith is growing in Jesus Christ. And knowing that God wants us to learn how to stay faithful and on mission when times are good. But also stay on mission and keeping our faith when times are bad. When we forget what that looks like, 
Remember the life of Jesus Christ. He spoke truth when times were good, but he also did it when times were bad. He helped others when times were good, but he also helped others when times were bad. He fed the hungry when times were good, and he fed the hungry when times were bad. He challenged evil authority when times were good. And he challenged evil authority when times were bad. He sought justice when times were good. And he sought justice when times were bad. And he treated people with respect when times were good and when times were bad. Even until the time he was killed on the cross. Sisters and brothers, cousins, I want to encourage you to remember who you are. Remember why you're here on this earth. But more importantly, remember that God has your back. This is the faith that we remember. I encourage you to keep your head up, to stay encouraged, and when the trials and tribulations come, Pull on God. Call on the Holy Spirit to keep you faithful so that your perseverance may continue to grow. I love you all and may God continue to bless you. Again, my name is Minister Archangel Antoine. Peace.